thanks for joining me tonight. Today we're just going to do a quick video on um, just a very basic uh, idea of how the variable width set and stitch works. And we're just going to use this simple S. Um, and, and this is going to be a very um, basic tutorial. And it's not going to work for every font. So you're going to need to play around with everything, but this is going to get you started. Every different font or, oops, I didn't want to do that. Every different font is going to have a different way for you to seed it and, and how things jump over each other and stuff. So just so you know, everything is going to be different on each different one that you try to do. But this one, we're just going to start out. We're going to make it really easy. We're going to, okay, so to, to start your, your satin stitch, you're going to click on the inside of this S. You're going to go down here, and we, what you're basically doing is making a rectangle. Go over, and then up to that one. And then once you have your point there, you're going to go over here to the next one, and then go over. And you're going to do the same thing all the way around. And it's going to it's going to follow where you click. So just over, cross over, over. And now if you're doing this yourself, you're not going to want to go as fast as I'm going. You're going to want to take your time and make these all look really nice. So let's click there, and I'm just kind of rushing through it for the sake of the video. But you'll get much better results if you take your time. If you click on a point that you don't want it, like say I click there, you take your right click and that undoes it. So just don't worry if you mess up a little bit. And then right here, when we get to this point, <laughs> we're gonna need to jump over. So it, we're just gonna click over here and then click up and it's just going to do that. And then so whenever it goes to run the, the actual sew out, it's going to start over here and it'll start doing an underlay. And there we go. So like I said, this is not perfect. If you want it perfect, you need to take the time. But for the tutorial's sake, I just wanted to show you guys how this is done. I did a sew art basics class the other day and for the life of me, I could not remember how I did it. So I just wanted to remember and also make a video so that it's easy for us to get back to and, and figure out. So once you're done with that, you want to hit the button that says Run Satin Stitch Emulator. Oh, it froze up on me last time. I hope it doesn't keep freezing up on me. Well, it looks like it's going to do this to me again, which is really frustrating. But... It's going to run basically like a little cartoon showing you the, the, the underlay as well as the actual stitch out. And once that is finished running, you want to choose save. And that's what's going to save your stitches. Oh, there we go. Maybe. I don't know what just happened. Well, that's the weirdest thing. Oh. Oh, what? That was so weird. Okay, so store satin stitches and close editor. And so now I have my satin stitch. And um, 
give me five minutes and or not five minutes, give me five seconds. And I will just put up a couple pictures of the satin stitch sewn out already. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, please email me at cleverdogdesigns at gmail.com. If you need anything, I generally am easier to answer through the emails. I don't always get on to YouTube to respond to the comments. So if you really need something, you can find um, find me in Facebook on in our Sew Art group, or you can message me directly at cleverdogdesigns at gmail.com. Alrighty, thanks so much. Bye-bye.